What you will see in this video report is a demonstration of Skywall Auto in operation against intruding small UAS. This demonstration was conducted by the joint efforts and support of DEVCOM Armament Center, Contractors Light Eye and Openworks Engineering, Schofield Army Test Range in Hawaii, 25th ID including their Lightning Lab, Range Personnel, and Provost Marshal's Office, User Pack Security Cooperation Division, Navy Information Warfare Center, NAVAIR PMA-263, who provided intruder targets, and Applied Research Lab at the University of Hawaii. Of special note is the light to heavy rain that prevailed at the time of demonstration. The Skywall Auto Counter UAS Intercept System protects critical assets from drone attacks. Skywall Net Capture Technology physically defeats UAS while minimizing collateral damage to surrounding infrastructure, environment, and personnel while preserving the drone itself, enabling forensic evaluation. These soft capture characteristics may be essential in urban regions, around populated areas, on the perimeter of military bases, in foreign environments, and at home. This technology is intended to be the last line of defense in collaterally sensitive areas when earlier parts of the electronic and intelligence defense in depth have failed, allowing leakers to get through. The Skywall Auto System consists of an automated turret and barrel with compressed air firing system and projectiles that deploy a filament net at capture proximity. The system uses advanced optical tracking and laser range finding to locate and track the inbound intruder UAS. Aiming is accomplished with a gimbal and the launch of projectile is calculated for the optimal engagement range point using only compressed air. Lack of a pyrotechnic report upon launch is a very positive step towards non-intrusive operations. Skywall Auto programs a time to deploy for the net contained in the projectile as it is launched from the barrel. The SP-45 projectile breaks apart to release the net, which spreads instantaneously to capture the UAS. The ensnarled and disabled UAS returns to the ground surface at low kinetic energy level under a parachute. The gentle nature of the capture minimizes damage to the captured UAS, which remains largely intact for further examination, exploitation, and informing on the counter-strike. U.S. Department of Defense, acting through Army Development Command, selected Skywall for further evaluation because of its high potential for defeating the intruder while minimizing collateral damage and promoting a most informed response. The demonstration at Schofield evaluated intruder SUAS flying inbound towards the system, as well as approaching in a lateral crossing pattern. Extremely important but unplanned complication to the testing was the steady rain from light to heavy, which did not affect the tracking and identification of the intruder by the Skywall acoustic tracker, nor the performance of the intercept projectile. Future evaluation can be developed to progressively challenge the fire control system algorithms. Complexity in the attack flight path, use of deception, and adding speed to the intruding flight path all represent progressively more sophisticated enemy attack capability as may be expected in the future. 